some of you might notice that I have got the same hair and makeup as what I had for my 19 week update chatty video and that is because I'm filming it on the same day. Um, <laughs> um, I've changed my outfit, I was in the video wearing this spotty number. Um, I'm actually wearing pyjamas, I bought these from Primark a little while ago, it's like a shirt nighty jobby and I just tried it on just now to see if it would fit over the bump and it does, I was like meh. I'm just gonna stay in this for a little while. You might also notice <laughs> I've got a little friend, Rocky. Hello, hey little baby boy. You wanna come and be in the video? Do you wanna come and say hi? Say hi guys, hi guys. This is Rocket, if you're unfamiliar. Um, he's in a lot of my weekly vlogs. He's a lovely boy. Um, he's got a brother called Zula, but we haven't seen Zula for about three or four weeks now. And Zula often goes missing for a week at a time. I think he like has another home in the area because we've moved to a new area. And since we moved here, he's started to like go missing. Um, but he's not been back, has he? Where is he? Where is your brother? Hmm? Right, let's put you down. Whoa, you've gone. Um, in this video, I wanted to talk specifically about one product that I bought for the baby. This is the first like big product that I have bought and that is the baby change bag. Wah, 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 wah. This was £90. I went into Cath Kitten in Milton Keynes a couple of weeks ago with my friend Emma and I just saw it and fell in love and a part of me thinks should I have waited till I've got the pram and push chair? Yes, probably. And also, often with prams and push chairs, you get the matching bag, and I like to have the matching things and stuff. But I figured that I would use this for more than just hanging on the bag. Um, I'm going to move you back a bit because I want you to be able to see the bag a bit better. There we go. Oh, can you see all the rubbish down there by the bed? No, it's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, when I had Darcy, I used the change bag a lot more than just taking it out with us. So when I was at home, I would kind of cart it around the house with me a bit so that I would always have nappies and wipes to hand. I didn't have to go upstairs and use like the little change setup that we've got in her bedroom. So I kind of justified it to myself that way. And also when you see how glorious it is and how many different pockets and stuff it is, I think you'll also agree that it's just one of the most beautiful baby things ever. So the pattern is, um, I think, vintage rose. If it's not Vintage Rose, I'll put in uh, type text what it actually is. And it's obviously this lovely navy blue with these gorgeous corally pink um, florals on it. There's a bit of yellow and the greens. Um, right, so let's explore the bag. You can hold it like this, obviously. And I'll just do the outside, then we'll go to the inside. So, first off, you have a little pocket here that is quite deep. It goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag. And in that, you could probably put your personal do you know what i won't say what you could put in it because you can just decide for yourself but that's a really really handy pocket for like your keys and your phone there i've said what you can put in it <laughs> i've gone back on myself on each side of the bag there are these pockets and if you look closely you can see that they're like the thermos pocket so you could put a warm bottle in there in fact you could probably get oh my goodness can you see my Belly, no. Um, hang on, my, my buttons have popped. <laughs> One of my buttons has popped open on my tummy. Um, you can probably get two bottles in there, depending on what kind of bottles you use, or snacks and stuff if you're breastfeeding and not using bottles. With Darcy, I breastfed for a little while and then we had some complications and I ended up bottle feeding. So I'm trying to be prepared for like all eventualities with this. I'm gonna take this off because it's clicking trying to be a bit prepared for all eventualities because with Darcy I had my mind set on breastfeeding and then when it didn't happen I wasn't prepared and I didn't have all the stuff I needed etc etc so turning it round from the front and I'm assuming this is the front because it's got the label on it you turn it round oh what is this oh well this ladies and gentlemen what 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 is a little inbuilt changing station. It's got these little netted pockets here that you could put your wipes and your nappies in. And then this also felt grows off. So if you need to use this um, somewhere else, you can do, or you can keep it attached to the bag. And it's this lovely like quilted padded jobby, which sits in there. I'll leave it out for now, just 
set these up. They've all got like really easy tags to do like pull the zippies with, which is nice. And then inside, there's all kinds of good stuff. So, first things first, on the realist, um, there is this little secret bag, which I will unclip for you. This little bag from the inside, sort of like saddle bag, comes with its own little strappy, which is also in like the pattern. And this is what the lady in the shop said to me that you could use for your own stuff, to have like your own handbag. When I had a change back with Darcy, I would just find that all my stuff, like lip glosses and cards and purse and keys and note pens and bits and bobs, would all just get like shuffled to the bottom of the baby bag or like lost in the abyss. So this is really handy because also if you're out and about like at a park or having a day out and you have to leave the buggy somewhere, you just want to leave the bag tucked into it, you can just take this with your essentials. Obviously don't leave like your stuff available to seal but if you're in a safe environment or whatever, it's okay. And you can take out your personal bits and like maybe a nappy and some wipes and just I think that's really really handy and I love that it clips into this um, with these little metal clips these little jobbies so yeah I think that's really nice this also comes with um, a full shoulder strap if you want to put it on your shoulders and it also comes with these which are so handy because you can flick these out and then you can attach these to your buggy handles and they're adjustable so they'll work for whatever um, whatever pram or bug you've got, which is so good. With my old one, Darcy, I had a Silver Cross Deluxe Sleeper in Sugared Almond. It was beautiful and I had the matching bag, but it's the matching bag you either had to put underneath or just hang the handle like over the handle of the buggy. So I like that. Inside here, it's loads and loads and loads roomy. Um, you've got a little phone pocket if you want to put your phone somewhere there's also here a secret zip compartment like this I've just noticed as well there's one of these am I showing this okay that you can attach your keys to so if you don't want to lose your keys and you're not using the little uh, like mummy bag then you can attach your keys to here um, and that is it there's not tons and tons and tons of pockets but I quite like that I'm not looking for a bag with tons of segments. I just want something that I can just chuck stuff in, which is this, and it's got enough segments. It's got like this for my bit, somewhere to put my keys, somewhere to put my phone, a little flappy here, milk can go here. You can put a couple of nappies here, but obviously you'd probably want more. I used to tote around so many nappies. How many nappies do people take in their nappy bag? I used to have like 10 in there all the time and a full pack of wipes and about three changes of clothes. I was like carrying everything with me. Um, yeah, so I basically just love this so much. Um, it was a bit of an impulse buy. I probably could have spent longer like researching ones and stuff. I just think it's fun and colorful. And then also on Mrs. Meldrum's channel, I saw that they do this like mother and baby travel bag, which is bigger than a change bag. And it's in like large black and white, like animal leopard print and I was like, Oh my god, might also get that as well. And then I think I saw in the Cat Kids and Shopping Milton Keys that they had the little wheelie travel bag in the same print as that mother and baby bag. Oh my god, I'm such a sucker for prints. I just love it. I just love it so much. Um, yeah, a bit unusual for me to do a video just doing like one product, but I really, really enjoy baby product videos, probably because I'm pregnant, but even before then I quite liked them. Um, so I'm going to do more of those. I have downstairs in its box a Duna car seat. If you know what a Duna car seat is, you will be excited too. Um, and I also have a snooze pod crib. So there are two other things that I'm probably going to do separate videos on at some point. hope that you like those. And I hope that you liked this. It was just a bit old school and chatty and show and telly. Um, very soon I'll be doing my annual stationery haul. Whoop, 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 whoop. That's my excited whoop, 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 whoop. Um, my annual stationery haul video, so keep your eyes peeled for that if you, like me, are a stationery addict. Um, yeah, it's been nice just to be a bit chatty and old school, so I will leave it here because I've rambled for like 10 minutes. And I will see you all soon. Don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell for notifications. Thanks for watching. Bye!